Hello and welcome to HRI Utilities with me Ramit, where today I shall be showing you firstly how to transfer files across remote desktop connection. Here's the driver I will be using. It is from this manufacturer, Gigabyte. It's for the motherboard in my server, in the server, whatever you want to call it. So uh, this is the audio drivers. I will also have to install the chipset eventually, so I'll just begin the installation. I'll, uh, I'll figure it out later. I'll just download them both for now. Thank you. Now, what you want to do is you want to either copy or cut, depending on how you want to do it. So I'm just going to cut it. And I am going to just simply paste it into the other side of my remote desktop connection. This will give me a bar. This bar will, believe it or not, show you how much of your file has been transferred over the connection. Now this is really slow because of the Wi-Fi card in my laptop. Right, now that it's been installed, yes, I can use it. So, you will get something like this. Now, you can install two versions. The executable version, most companies would use, or the zip version. And then you want to go to setup.exe. Not this setup.exe, which is practically identical. Except even the time they were edited was is identical. Oh, no, wait. No. No, no, I'm, I'm right here. The time edited is identical. As you can see, this driver hasn't been updated in a while. You just launch setup.exe. Yep. Thank you for this. Install wizard is uninstalling. Okay. Uh, no, I will uninstall complete. Yep. Presumably, then, this will just be a install. Yes, I, no, I will not. Okay, I think that's just the second part then. No, okay. Right, so now it's done whatever it is. Yeah, you can hear now. Yeah, audio now works. Nice. So, once you've done that... Okay, so the driver also stays here because... It doesn't like it. I don't know. It just doesn't. Now... Thank you for listening. Very simple. Now, once the drive is installed, obviously you have to restart the computer. You normally do. If you don't, then you've got a faulty driver. You may want to reconsider where you're getting it from. Make sure to get your drivers from the people who make the product. They have the most reliable drivers. Thank you for listening. Goodbye.